Congratulations, guys, on your award. And my, contrary to what Jim says, you are funny. <laughs> um, the wonderful thing about presenting this award is that um, it represents that Carol has long-standing businesses that are multi-generation. And uh, tonight's award winner is just that, they're a multi-generation business. The company actually started in 1933, and they started by selling fuel, and they did whatever they had to do to keep the doors open, as many businesses did at that time. Sold oil, repaired washers, whatever it took. The company started as a husband and wife team, and that husband and wife team were Louis and Teresa Dries. The Dries company first location was Fourth and Main. They located there um, in 1945. In 1963, their building was destroyed by fire. They went to a temp location on North Crawford, then back to where they are today. The Dries company's first major project um, was the heating system for the Manning School. And today, they'll have four or five major projects going at any one time. In 1968, um, Dries Plumbing was purchased by Howard Dries, Doug Dries, and Kenny uh, Kameen. Howard Dries Jr. bought into the company in 1992 and then purchased the company from his father in 1997. You probably wonder how I know all these things. <laughs> you have to make phone calls. <laughs> I was fortunate to have his dad to give him some advice. And, and for many of us, parental advice is always well taken. And this is what Howard told out. Stick your neck out. Be aggressive. Take a risk. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to get your hands slapped. And now the Dries Company is a mechanical contractor, electrical contractor, HVACR sales and service control contractor with over 50 employees. From 2 to 50. That's great success. The Dries Company is an asset to Carroll, community leadership, generosity, and how he was a past Chamber President, thank you for that. It is my honor to present the Heritage Award to the Dries Company and the Dries family. Congratulations. give and take, the community, the juice company, our employees, um, our families, and uh, it's, it's been a good one. Um, we've worked 78 years now, on 79, and, and maybe we can double that and just keep going because it's, uh, you know, there's so many good things with this community, leaders, generosity, um, quality of work, quality of the, the working um, the employees, behalf of uh, Dries Company and our family, we thank you very much. What a great uh, choice there, and uh, uh, now he, uh, I followed him as uh, chamber president, and uh, that speech thing's not his deal. <laughs> tell you about it too, you know, but uh, you did a great job and congratulations uh, Pat and Howard and the whole Dries family, that's a, that's a great uh, addition. I want to go back to what Bud once said about me being funny, <laughs> because, you know, I got to, you know, we go out and we have a few drinks and I, you know, I think I'm funny, <laughs> but then I say something and all my friends all the table, I don't know if they're just being nice to me or what, they laugh. And my wife said, don't laugh at him. He ain't funny. <laughs> so, I'm glad I could get that off my chest. <laughs> the uh, Humanitarian Award is presented for lifelong commitment to the well-being of our communities, humans, needs. Communities, human needs. Sometimes difficult to describe, but it exemplifies the guiding principle. Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. 
These folks give freely of their time and talent to help others in many ways. Some of the most recent winners, Cheryl Stuhlman, Holy Spirit Sisters, Rhonda Mattis, Community of Concerned Volunteers, and Catherine Brady. From St. Anthony Regional Hospital, I'd like to introduce Karen Tim to present this award. to this community that we had to get a committee together to get the whole list together. So I have a few of her contributions here that I'd like to share with all of you. As Director of Education Services for the past 30 years, our award winner has touched thousands of lives. She's organized, promoted, and managed a variety of adult education programs such as prenatal and childbirth education, Alzheimer's support group, breast cancer support group, diabetes support group, Dialysis Caregiver Support Group, and the Parkinson's Disease Support Group. In addition, she's the creator and facilitator of the Healthview Magazine, which is a quarterly publication distributed to all Carroll County residents, which focuses on health issues and local health promotion services. Our award winner has been involved as an active member or leader in the following American Cancer Society programs. The Tobacco Free Coalition, Road to Recovery, Breast Cancer Support Group, Daffodil Days, Stop Smoking Classes, and Relay for Life. In addition to serving as the Director of Education Services at St. Anthony Regional Hospital, Katie has also served as a member of the Iowa Hospital Association, Iowa Health Educators for District A, member of the Iowa um, Association of Nurse Continuing Education, volunteer for the American Cancer Society, engaged in patient service and patient advocacy, member and past chair of the American Cancer Society, Iowa Advisory Council, past member of the American Cancer Society Midwest Board, and the Carroll County Relay for Life core team member, organizer, and communications. Um, her talent and professionalism and personal commitment to our community has made Katie an unbelievable and profound and positive impact for Carroll and Carroll County. It's an honor to recognize Katie Towers for the 2011 Humanitarian Award. Thank you very much. 